Today on Geek Art, I'm going to be taking you over the setup behind me, which is where I create all the videos for this channel. Before I get into it, I just want to mention I'm going to leave links for both UK and US regions for all the products I mentioned down in the description and you can check the card section up here now if you would like to see reviews of any of the products I mentioned in this video, I have reviewed most of them. But let's kick it off with one of the most overlooked parts of any setup and that is the chair. This GTO Mega chair is perfect, it's got lumbar support and neck slash head support which is great for prolonged gaming sessions. You can get like bad backs and bad necks and stuff like that if sitting in a chair that is insufficient and the chair really really is important. I'll even leave a discount code and links to this chair in the description below. It's comfortable and the black and red colour scheme fits perfectly with the rest of my setup. Now let's move on to the desk. It's your bog standard IKEA desk, nothing too special uh, but it does the job. The corner kind of uh, size and form is good enough for me. It leaves plenty of room for anything I may want to put on it, whether it be my MacBook, um, whether it be another keyboard, another mouse, uh, a motherboard that I'm testing or doing B-roll of. In terms of peripherals, Qpad have me covered here. I've got a Qpad mouse pad sitting on top of that is the Qpad DX20 uh, which is an RGB mouse. You can change three different zones of this mouse review uh, to that as well in the car right now it's a really nice mouse it's a smaller mouse it did take a bit of you getting used to sorry uh, for me but being able to program macros uh, all the buttons can be changed even the left and right click mouse buttons which is a bit mad it does everything that I need it to do and it's just a really really nice feel uh, the keyboard I went for is the uh, Qpads MK50 they were nice enough to send all these peripherals over and, and it's just a nice keyboard the Cherry MX black switches uh, aren't that typical mechanical loud switchy sound uh, but they're a little bit heavier than the Cherry MX Reds, which are the most popular switches, something I personally prefer. In terms of monitors, I have three. Now, for some, this may seem overkill, but for me, it's kind of like really, really important. Granted, I could edit on one monitor if I wished. However, to get the best editing, I need to be able to see uh, the video that I'm currently editing in full screen, like many of you will watch it. Uh, so for that, I have that on my right hand monitor in full screen. I have my timeline stretching across uh, the whole width of my middle monitor. And then I have all my footage bins, so all the clips that I've recorded and need to stick together. They all go on the left, uh, my left hand monitor over here, as well as any kind of images, a roll, B roll, audio that needs syncing. It's just really, really important for me to have those three monitors. Uh, the, the outside two are both TM panels. They're identical. They're both from AOC and are 21 and a half inches in size, which may seem small to some people, but for me, I don't want anything any bigger than that because my room simply isn't big enough. The middle monitor is 24 inches, as you can see, and is really, really nice. It's much nicer than the other two monitors, although it is still a TM panel. It's 24 inches as opposed to 21 and a half. It's got a one millisecond response time as opposed to five. It's also got a 144 hertz refresh rate, great for first person shooters, and even for kind of any role playing or racing games, although not uh, too necessary, and sports free sync, whereas my other two monitors don't free sequence works perfectly sorry uh, with my r9 fury in my pc talking of my pc that's where the heart of the setup really lies for me it's got a lovely gigabyte motherboard housing a 6800k which is a broadwell e6 core intel core i7 cpu i've also got 32 gigabytes of ram a cooler master liquid cooler and an r9 fury from xfx which keep my gaming experience like amazing i'm hitting really great frame rates really high settings and the next upgrade for me really has to be the gtx 1080 but until then this fury will definitely suffice it's also got a kingston savage ssd which makes boot time super super snappy and a load of storage which i've somehow managed to fill up and to finish my speaker and uh, my setup sorry off is the sound in terms of headphones i'm rocking an ath m50x i'm also rocking a creative or avana which i really really like and also the strix wireless gaming headset Set, which I did a review of very very recently which are great for surround sound 7.1 wireless gaming if you can handle that slightly added latency. In terms of speakers I listen to a lot of music and I listen to music quite loud as the rest of my family unfortunately know uh, and, and the speakers that are powering my setup are two uh, Creative T30s. They come as a pack of two and it's a 2.0 system and the subwoofers are actually built into uh, the speakers which is a really really great addition for me. Bass ports on the top fire beautiful audio upwards 
and just oh it's just amazing i love these speakers as do i love the rest of my setup please note that this setup was literally bought by me i saved for a lot of this stuff i bought it through the channel and a lot of this stuff was bought uh, to excel at the channel and to help me create better content without a pc to this caliber i couldn't do some of the visual effects without my three monitors i couldn't edit as efficiently and probably as good as i can right now i mean the headphones they're kind of just like <laughs> just because i want them uh, but the setup really is kind of geared towards maximum productivity and as I said I'll leave links to everything as well as any videos that are appropriate in the card section uh, in your top right hand corner of your screen if I can even YouTube nowadays but if you did enjoy this video please make sure to drop a like rain if you want to see more like this make sure to subscribe I've got a load of tech content on the channel and as always I'll see you in the next Geek What video